start look i need all y'all to go to motherfucking amazon.com and i need y'all to type in lv skinny ass or gas you're gonna find some ass or gas shirts you know what i'm saying this is my first like these are my first actual shirts online i'm about to have hella different clothes and shit you know what i'm saying so if you support a nigga and you know what i'm saying all the shit i'm trying to accomplish support a nigga then but yeah let's get into the video What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, V. Skinny. It's your boy, Zayra. And today, we is here to check out the top five worst Mortal Kombat Mortal games. Mortal Kombat! Me and Zayra Shah, we're, we're some big Mortal Kombat. Well, I'll say me specifically, but well, why you, why you looking at me like that? I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because you know what I'm saying? You was more on to, you got onto the other games. I stick to it, Mortal Kombat. Well, I used to play the fuck out of America. Back when they had, what was that shit? The uh, Sega, Sega Genesis? When it was, it, that moves on that shit was generic as fuck. Mm. When you come through rating, wow, wow, yeah, that yeah, that's shit. What, that was, Mortal Kombat as a series, I definitely have, like, kept up with, like, known the characters, known their backstory, known, like, this was a game I actually took some but this, time to That was a fun into. shit, that, you know, because if you really break it down, we used to play this and check it and try yeah. to beat the story. So that you can find the backstory yeah. of that character. Yeah. You, you may got an extra character or something, but it was just cool to beat it and You're then like, see oh, what, what the happened with yeah. yeah, yeah. So but this is the trashiest shit, and I have an idea which what games is gonna be. I kind of do, and mm. I feel like I'm gonna like most of the games on this list for some reason. What Mortal Kombat was the most garbage in my opinion? I guarantee Shaolin Monks gets put on here. Shaolin and you Mike. said you said Shaolin Monks was whack too, and I don't. That's the one that the two player. Oh, I, I know, nigga. Oh, okay. Trust me. Yeah, that's I one. know. It's probably gonna be that Sub Zero game on PlayStation. Oh yeah, definitely that shit. But that game was live, man. That yeah. shit was so hard. Like Sub Zero, real nigga. But that game was hard. I'm pretty sure fuck. I was only on like the first or second level. It's where you're in like a crossing through like this brown walk path or like a yes. wooden type shit. Yes. I'm pretty sure I died every time yeah, on that. That shit was hard for, for a kid. It, that shit didn't work. <laughs> but we about to check out the top five worst. Alright, that sounds like Dragon Ball. <laughs> Alright, I also want to give a shout out to History Behind the Warrior. They put shout out up. they put out hella different like specific videos. They got Tekken, fucking uh Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat, then they got like the backstories on the exact character. They got some It takes really... some time to do this shit, actually. Exactly. You can't just come in and just bare balls, just oh yeah, I'm gonna do it now. You really gotta look these niggas up. Learn all the different information from multiple different sources. And then, cause I mean, this is all made up anyway. So, yeah. like, but it's just dope to see a story type shit. But, yeah, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 worst Mortal Kombat games created. Now before we start this video properly, I'd like to just remind you guys that we currently have a sponsorship with Loot Crate. This month's theme is wild, and will contain stuff from The Legend of Zelda, World of Warcraft, Metal Gear Solid 5, and Pitfall. Use our discount code HBTWarrior in order to get a 10% discount. Now onto the video. Now this is, is going to be a little out? controversial I'm trying to fucking list. sell out and I can't. Been good games in the Mortal Kombat <laughs> franchise. And I would say myself that the list doesn't really get too bad up until Free. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real. My nigga, history of the Warriors videos. It's a lot of talking. Like, I'll be coming for we a, a specific, lot of talking. So this yeah, is gonna be a exactly. lot of motherfucking talking. And that's why I'm gonna probably be skipping throughout this video because <laughs> it'd be a lot of extra talking. And that's one thing. That's one. I'm like, you do a whole bunch of extra talk. I, I don't mm -hmm. care. I don't, if y'all have seen like top five videos and shit like that, I'll just be trying to get straight to the, the point. Yeah, you wanted and, just a boom five, yeah, four. Boom. Yeah, exactly. I don't want the, all the extra stuff. So it, for an infor, informative video, it's cool to sit and watch it when you buy your 
by yourself. Yeah. Touching. But as far as reactions, you at work, yeah, yeah. This, it's not. It's not working. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Exactly. Man. It's not really something to react to. And then oh, it gets bad. That was always for these top fives lists. There's a criteria that each game must meet. And I guess since I'm going to the opposite end of the spectrum, we have to talk about the really negative thing. It's that just the most a lot of big words. Thing about a game on its release is its reception from both critics and fans. Yo. So we need to talk about how did when people respond to the game. When this trailer came out, I, was, I had to get this. For I real. Got that this shit was this Aaron Black. Worst game. Niggas not so we're fucking gonna have to with be me. Talking no, about that. aspects that negatively impacted the fan base. We next need to take into account game design and what parts about yeah, certain. We don't need to take this all into account, damn it. I'm just trying to get to the damn video. If anything, it runs extremely smooth. Hold now on. at number five, okay. own criteria. So is it's it completely fine shit? if you what disagree this? with this list. I remember well, yeah, own game. Case, honestly, oh, I think feel I free to put it, down man. in the comments below. What game did you personally think deserved to be on this list? Now at number five, we have Mortal Kombat 4. Oh, now, this is by no this means shit, a This is on Nintendo 64, it wasn't it? Extreme. Yeah, I remember. I'm pretty I thought sure I this shit was this. trash. What? It was good for that time period, but that shit was trash. That shit was... They looked like... uh, What was that game with the snowman? Nigga. Clay, Clay fight, yeah, yeah. yeah this shit that, was bad graphics as fuck. For real, but that time it was, it was just a time period. For when I'm, this one had like the cheek. Was this the one that it was also like Mortal Kombat Gold or something I like that? Because I, I remember know, they I had a I lot of people gold. on there though. Yeah, ex I think this they one had mad gold, people yeah. on it. Exactly. And they smooth. But the main problem with Mortal Kombat 4 is the fact that it was trying to be something else. You see, at this point, 3D fighters were becoming extremely big. And Midway realized this. So when Mortal Kombat 4 was in production, they told the game developers that it had to be a 3D fighter. And the transition is somewhat less than yeah, smooth. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, see? This shit, and you can pick up the little blocks. This shit was hard. The game more or less no. felt like a rehash of Mortal Kombat 3, but with a 3D aspect to it. And this was a problem for both critics yeah, and the it was hard because this was like the third, the first 3D Mortal Kombat, I think. Ten, but I'm saying it's trash, but it also is very legendary for the fact that one of the things that happened in this then transitioned into the newer Mortal Kombat. As really far bad. as you see how you could pick up stuff and throw oh, it in yeah. this one, they kind of dished that idea and then later on you yeah. see where on the new ones you could actually do that well, like an environmental yeah, object they, they yeah. started using that so it's actually kind of legendary even though you could say yeah it's kind of booty looking but yeah that's a good point and fans because the transition to 3d was a big selling point for this game so to have it feel like a standard 2d oh, fighter yeah, was yeah, really disappointing that that just Plus, many old fans of the mortal kombat games didn't this like the idea hard, of the 2d game i remember playing this shit. You see? so many Bring people stopped playing another reason why people didn't essentially like mortal kombat 4 too much was due to the many new characters they imported yeah. almost half the roster was taken up with new characters uh -huh. and so? a lot of fans felt robbed of yeah, what they because a character like Kai isn't something that fans had been asking for. So sadly, yeah, a lot fuck of him, new but characters still. that were introduced were rejected yeah. by fans at the very beginning. Plus, yeah, fuck him, but there was a lot of characters in there that was added that I did care about. I can't remember. I can't really remember them, yeah, so they either, might they might not have been that niggas great. Niggas always want to play as new characters. Who the fuck wants to play as the same damn exactly. character? And especially on the fourth installment of a game, why not? But Add here's the problem life. with life. You can get what you want, and then it's not what you want, and then you don't get what you want, and then you wish that you got what you wanted. So you just fucking lose. <laughs> Quote from Zay Rashad. Going crazy. The game wasn't too strong on story, having it rely on Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero as a tie-in to give the game context. And that's what makes Mortal Kombat 4 one of the weaker games of the franchise. But by no means is it uh, really a bad game. It was just a lot for one studio to take on. But eventually they did learn from their mistakes. Damn, and went on to create two fantastic <laughs> fighters. Now at number 4 we have Mortal Kombat What? Yeah. What? What? Hold on, I gotta put the cup. I gotta put the cup down. Is this the one? This is the one I'm thinking. You could create your own uh, fighter on it, I think. No, no, I think this is the one we. Uh, this is when you I, you had to ask me for help. This is with Goro. No, I'm pretty sure this is this when is, they first went PS into PlayStation 2. Two. Yeah, this is when they first went to PlayStation Two. This shit was fucking amazing. I, I don't feel like Goro was the boss for this. One. He wasn't. He was right before the boss, but oh. he's basically the boss because fighting Goro was fucking hell. That yeah. nigga sit there, block, grab you, forehand, bop, 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 take your bar. That's just do, do, do. Yeah. Yeah, no. This was hard because this was, it had like the, the cart. Was basically it had the, the cart racing on it. It had create a uh, fighter. I don't think it was create a fighter. I think I'm, you're thinking the one right after this. After? No, because it was Deception and then it was Armageddon. Deception, you couldn't. 
Okay, Deception might be the one I'm thinking. Yeah, of. I think I, I think okay. so. With the creative, fight, that shit was so cool. You get to learn the combos. Exactly. Your nigga get to age though. Man, that game was fun. Yeah, that shit yeah, was the, hard. The Mortal Kombat Armageddon was very promising at the beginning. Yeah, this shit was hard. I played this every day. Every single Mortal Kombat character ever, which is good in anyone's books. A large roster and a pretty damn awesome CG trailer. One that I'd say is arguably the best. The, the game best did of all time. This shit was so hard. Could have been when all of them ran up and started fighting. Best Mortal this shit Kombat was so games hard. All time. But then people so started playing it. And this is truly where the flaws began to show. Now, in terms of gameplay, it worked extremely well feeling like the true 3D Mortal Kombat games, but there were a lot of problems. The conquest mode itself was fun, but was nowhere near as interesting as it should have been, especially with the somewhat anticlimactic ending. Hey, Another massive flaw yeah. on the character ending, something that is extremely lazy. You see, in all Damn, previous who games, got Mark like, tell you that shit was going so of what was going on after they had defeated the boss. But on the end of Mortal Kombat, real life, I would watch that intro like. I would just let my game run. I'd sit there and watch it multiple different times. Because you'd see so many different shit. You'll see that one right there in front of us. And then there's other niggas in the back dying. This shit was so hard. You know what's even crazier, though? That motherfucking Sub-Zero was actually the villain. Yeah, that is crazy. People but always I don't really, transition it. Because, I don't really believe that, No, honestly. trust me. I was bored. And I was when I'm bored, I start looking at weird shit. So, the original Sub-Zero that sent... Scorpion to hell, he had died. His little brother had taken over the Sub Zero mask and all that. Oh, and so then they the went to hell. Yeah, see, so he went and taken over, and then that's when he realized he's like, Oh, I'm fighting you, but that's not who I'm after. I'm not, I was, I wanted to kill your brother, like for my family, because they came, Sub Zero came and killed his niggas whole fucking clan. He murked all them niggas, and he sold his soul to Quarren Chi. In order to be able to come back, that's why when you take out the mask, he's he's a skull and all that. But why would Sub Zero do that? It got Sub Zero's clan. It was a clan fight. It was one of those. They were two different enemy clans. Came through, killed all of them. So, how are they brothers then? They try to paint that picture. They're not. They're not. Yeah, even they close. are. No, I swear it said we're well, not brothers, like literal brothers, but him. Um, reptile, like the they how they all have them robes. No. They're all related. Or they something just like really that. just milk that. Exactly. Just like Ermac, when they used to have him early on, he was in a robe. He was a he was they, an accident. Yeah, they said his name. Yeah. His name is Ermac. They went in Macro. the code. No, they went in the code, and they was like, "Oh, it's a secret character. It says Ermac," but it was just Ermac. Yeah. <laughs> and then they were like, "You know, fuck it. Here's an Ermac." Yeah. Ermac art. I yeah, fucked with Urbat. Yeah, I fucked with Urbat. <laughs> but now, this was one of the hardest intros on Mortal Kombat for one, and just for games in general. This is one thing I will always remember type shit. shit. This shit was too hard. Combat Armageddon? You were simply given a little bit of narration, Drunk or some character down. in the background runs around in circles, flailing his arms. Child. Ah, majestic. Now this to many fans felt like a cop out, as this game was considered by many fans to be the last Mortal Kombat, and for a while it was, and that's what made fans despise this game. I did remember more. that. Now the creator character part of it was extremely nice, okay, however, okay. many people didn't like how limited this felt, right, and as great. such once again, Armageddon was given It was pretty round. limited. Now this is where the list gets bad, we have Mortal- Oh that shit was trash. It was trash, but it wasn't. Nah. This, I was I, I was whooping niggas ass hopes. on there. I went in the high hopes, but that shit was garbage. This shit was the story but, mode. I beat that shit a day. I'm pretty sure this was also it, why you can say it's trash. This one also is very revolutionary because it transitioned that story mode into what it is now. You know yeah, how you fight and then yeah. it just go into talking. That, that and new then Mortal Kombat, that yeah, it came from. It transitioned, yeah. So and also I feel like this started the way for what's the new game out? Um. What's the new fighting one? Injustice. Yeah, Injustice. Yeah, yeah. It paid away. It, it was definitely inspired by this yes. right here. Like, I fucked with this shit, honestly. Yeah. I was online. I was learning damn Superman glitches and shit. Had a, a, a infinite hit. Like, I was learning of hell, learning hella shit. Mortal Kombat vs. the DC Universe. I'm pretty sure everyone in this channel knows. That's a bit of a running joke that I tend to rip this game to pieces. So know this. I take no pleasure in actually talking about this game and just how unbelievably bad it is. Well, it wasn't that bad. Mini games to its terrible mechanics. You know what? I, I terrible mechanics. What? It was fun fighting on there. I love playing with Joker. I love playing with Flash. Like, I remember we was in the basement. Like, leave. 
Man, everybody was over here, and we was all playing it, having fun. I don't it, remember playing this. What? I don't. You don't remember ever playing these? I had an what? Xbox. Still, I. You I were a PlayStation I had, nigga. Yeah, I had, you had the PlayStation. I was on this. You were that, like the fighter on it. I mean, yeah, if you want to be a a solo gamer and you just want to think about everything yourself, but if you got all your niggas around, all y'all playing, y'all trying to whip each other's ass. This was a perfect game yeah. for it. This shit was fun. It's like man. Smash Brothers on the Switch coming out. See, I, I I ain't gonna cop a Switch. I ain't gonna flex. I'm just waiting for them to make a new GameCube or something. They you better copy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna copy. They copy. I mean, a new GameCube. But I ain't about to cop no damn Switch. You can play it on the. You can I play it on big screen. I don't care. That shit weird. It's HDMI. It ain't the same. Okay, bet. I'm gonna get it's it. not the same. I'm gonna get it. I actually do derive a little bit of pleasure slaughtering this game. Now on a more professional note, fans of the Mortal Kombat franchise did not like this game. And it's understandable why. It was extremely toned down. And it is very understandable in the case of you can't really have Scorpion ripping off Superman's head and having People beat was kids game. About I understand yeah, they that you can't slap violence, a title yeah. of Mortal Kombat on something and not expect some form of blood gore and violence because in a very strange way that is the soul it's, DC people. What you expect? it's what made it yeah, different about Superman's the fighting games melting the niggas the eyes yeah, out yeah. a very key thing like fatalities made the game feel like it was drained of its mortal Kombat aspect on top of the fact that this was the first mortal Kombat, it was still mortal Kombat with the fighting style but with dc universe is is basically making it kind of a more pg version of a fighting game. Realistically, this game just made the new Mortal Kombat and the new Injustice at the same fucking time. For They're real. like, you know, we don't really need to be with Mortal Kombat. We can make a game basically kind of like that with x rays Exactly. They just, they just <laughs> stole it. Wait, is, it, is Injustice made by Mortal Kombat? I don't know. I feel like if it if it's not and they just stole the idea, <laughs> they some bitches. They, yeah. But that's nah, a, they, they knew what time it was. It was like, shit. Yeah, but still, that's Y'all ain't up. doing nothing with this? I oh, bet. We got it. Mortal Kombat. Because... I don't be on Injustice, but I, it, it's a Mortal Kombat game to me is how I feel. Nah, Injustice real. Injustice real. I'll fucking Injustice. Mm -hmm. Game we got him. This shit, like, yeah, this shit is long as The fans understandably felt underwhelmed. The extremely tiny roster didn't help. With only 15 characters being in total, the game did feel like a disappointment for Mortal Kombat Damn. fans, and as such, it has been shunned by the fan base. Now, at number two, we have Mortal Kombat. I knew it. I told you. Zero. I told now, you. I, Father, I fucking told you. I knew this would be on here. No matter what, someone always brings up yeah, this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, it's going to be the Sub Zero Jane. This shit was fucking hard. Fuck this game. I shouldn't have played it as a child. Fuck it to <laughs> hell. <laughs> Screw this game. See, I'm gonna be mad if damn Shaolin Monks is number one. Watch the it be number one. Watch, watch it. Yeah. Watch it. Because <laughs> we was literally playing, well, not exactly, sorry, me and Kels, we was literally playing at least like four months ago. We, I brought out the Xbox. We was I was really playing. It. This is outrageous. Right. Great. As it kind of was the first was Mortal kind Kombat of whack, game to flex. really just focus on the story mode. And this is good. But outside of that, everything that else seems like, yeah, stupid as hell. Retarded and bad graphics. People were extremely unimpressed of how it looked graphically. And was seen as out of thing. date. Considering that this was a tie-in game for Mortal Kombat 4, you can definitely see the comparison and difference between them. Now, what also extremely hurt this game... My fault for all the puzzles, but this came out the same time at uh, Mortal Kombat. I'm at four. Well, I can see it with the graphics kind of, no, but baby. This, that's what this it's is doing. on the original PlayStation One. It said it said a, a tie-in, meaning probably it's connected, but no, hell no. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, this shit was, was way like, before. Damn, the fuck, how the fuck? Nah. <laughs> was the ridiculous difficulty curve. Also, here's a little fun exactly. fact. If the player set the game's difficulty on easy, you'd only be able to progress to a certain part of the game before it ended. So essentially, Damn. you weren't able to complete the game properly, which is simply ridiculous. Fuck this game! Also have to take this is why I couldn't get really anywhere! Cutscene, which essentially looks like really bad cosplay, or the type of costumes you see in porn parodies. Now, that's what number I, that's one, what I, it's Mortal Kombat okay, Special great. Forces. I'm pretty sure... No Keep it real, I remember that. I got it out of, uh, what's the place? What was this bad graphics, Jack? <laughs> Nigga, Movie Stars is where I got it. Back when you could rent games and shit, Dad took me there, and I remember picking up this game. You could do all these different moves. It was cool, but I swear this was another game. I had to see the game, because I'm pretty sure I remember, but I, I had to see it. It was hard as No one doubted that this games. was at the number one yeah. spot. And my God, has it earned its spot here. Even Ed Boon has considered this game to be a sham. What and this is in fact due to the game actually being in development hell. You see, many members of the team that were working on this game had in fact left. 
So already, it was pretty much a mess. The game wanted to be so much more than what it was in development, and that's essentially what killed this game. Now, due to the lack of the game, it was rushed out the door, and was marketed so extremely poor that it did affect its sales. And this could be seen throughout the entirety of the game. Graphically, it was poor, and gameplay felt sluggish. And on top of that, you were only given Jax as a character to play against a pretty lame rogues gallery outside of Kano. Now, as terrible of a game this is, I believe it's the perfect example of what happened to a game with rather high expectations can ultimately turn out to be when it's yeah, not bro, handled well by its developer yeah, bro. and not given the time it's needed in order to become something great. And that's really it for my even top Jack's name. Hopefully you enjoyed this. You I lazy motherfuckers. This myself. Now in the comments. That pissed nah, that pissed me. Fuck this game. I don't remember it. Nah, but... the, the Jack shit it. That, I like that. Mortal Kombat decided to make a solo game before, you know what I'm saying, niggas was really into it, because they had, because, you know what I'm saying, Jax and Kano had their beef type shit. And but that, Jax was just, if you really break it down, Jax is just a generic ass nigga. Yeah. Like, when he came out in the movies, he was basically oh, yeah. just a nigga. They just pump, pimped <laughs> him for being like and he gets a, a white slow, girl. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, it's really racist as fuck if you break it down. Yeah. Later on in the new games, they try to make him a, a patriot American. But still, his cat, his catchphrase is like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, it's always <laughs> like some really like it's aggressive. Generic, like, aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. The fuck? But nah, shout out to the whole motherfucking Mortal Kombat franchise. Aww. Because I've been a big fan, like we've been saying this whole 20 minute video, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, um, you got anything to say? I don't got nothing to say. Alright, well, uh, shout out to the makers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's watching this right now that stick through this whole long ass video of us shout talking about some rubbish, you know what I'm saying? Y'all some real niggas. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Till next time, YouTube, we out. To all of my niggas in here, we ain't doing the fight, said bullets through air. Hey, diamond shining very clear. Hey, she want to fuck pulling her hair. 24-7, I'm grinding. I'm out here getting cheddar. Smoking on some of that good shit. Life can't be better. Life can't get worse. I done seen that shit. We done went through the worst. You wouldn't even believe the shit. I was out here trapping at night. Times was bad, but we got right. Sunday morning, Dr. Light. Monday morning, night to bright. Naughty fiend ain't hit my phone. I tell him, Con, I'll be there right. And he don't even need the shit. Cause he just almost lost his sight But I'm on a bag and I need it Straight cash, I'm fuck with no Lisa I'm in Cali, I'm smoking no Keisha We spice on his head like he Lisa Pull up on they nigga, they leave him Take over the land like a treason Doing all of this dope for a reason It hurt me to see all my people Some of them really down, really fucked up Really going through it I dedicated my whole life just to make it off the fucking music Pay attention to your nigga when he's speaking Cause he probably going through it That nigga really might lose it Stay in tune with your dude